gonna tell this story that I just remembered. I don't know what it was, but it sounds like a skinwalker or wendigo creature, based on the stories that I read here. Never told this before, as I've only just started browsing X about a week ago. B10, Britbong. Go to Cumbria to spend the summer at my uncle's, while he and my dad work on his house. Uncle lives with grandmother, and they have this huge fucking house in the middle of the woods. Really hilly as well. As my dad and uncle work on the roof, I decide to go exploring in the gardens. A small clearing of land surrounds the house before it transitions into thick woodland. See a patch of no grass in a small area. Head over to see it, thinking it was a log or some shit. It's a deer carcass, and it smells like death. Deers are common in this area. I remember it like it was yesterday. The flesh had been torn from nearly every bone, but from around the head. Feel a cold sweat and just nope out of there. Head back to house, climb up to roof via scaffolding, and tell uncle about sighting. I remember him pausing as soon as I said that and looking out towards the clearing that I was talking about. After a momentary pause, Ah, don't worry about it. It's probably just a fox. A fox? You kidding me? Shrug it off. Go inside. Call it a day. Be some time later, two weeks or so. Me, uncle, and dad head down to the local DIY store one morning to get some tools and some slate or something. Nothing unusual. Head back home and have lunch. Grandmother says that while we were out, she saw a black figure walking around on all fours on the driveway. Said it looks like a big dog, but its hind legs were longer than its front. But it was just a shout out to her and couldn't see it very well. Ten-year-old me gets scared as fuck. Immediately think about that dear corpse. Uncle, who has been in the woods plenty of times, tries to say it was probably a wildcat, like a black panther or something. This is a reasonable explanation, as in the 70s, owning large cats was banned in England. So, many people just decided to abandon the cats by letting them free into the woods. But no fucking big cat would go so close into our garden. Not to mention our driveway, as apparently, they are very timid as far as big cats go. So, I spend the next week or so nervous as fuck to go outside. Be a few weeks later after grandmother sighted weird creature. Forgotten all about it. On the final week, I have to stay at my uncle's before he and my dad have a four-month break on working on the house. The woods which surrounded our house are on the side of a steep hillside, which apparently is popular with mountain bikers. Me, my dad, and uncle decide to go in the woods because why not? And to see how well it is for mountain biking. I'd completely forgotten about the previous events before this. We go in through a gate at the bottom of our driveway and head into the woods. Air is musky, it's really hot weather, 30 degrees Celsius, and it's dark as fuck. Fast forward 30 minutes. We're in the thick of the woods after heading in one continuous direction up this hill. There are plenty of paths going off in all different directions that had been left by bikers. We stop to look at our map and all of a sudden hear this thudding sound like really fucking loud. We all turn around to see a number of deer sprinting like lunatics up the hill. Too excited about exploring to give a damn, but my uncle looks concerned and says it's a good idea to keep heading up the hill. Get to the top of the hill and we're out of the woods. We stay up there for a while and my uncle says that we're gonna head down in a few minutes. We head closer to the woods and we smell the most pungent smell of rotting flesh ever. There wasn't any sewer works up here, so it wasn't shit. We decide to head back down. My uncle gets into his bag and pulls out a fucking huge kukri blade out of nowhere. My uncle now decides to tell us that when he saw those deers running, he saw something else. And he said it was standing upright but it had the posture of a dog or a cat on its hind legs. I go internally apeshit, remembering what my grandmother said and the deer carcass. I see my dad in the corner of my eye pulling a 
What the fuck? Face and giggling, calling my uncle crazy. Ever since another one of my uncles died, I have five of them, four years prior to this. My uncle that I'm with now started acting like a bit of a lunatic. It's getting towards dusk, so we head into the woods. All the way down, my uncle is getting crazy, squatting down and telling us to be silent and to keep our eyes out. The smell follows us all the way down. After 15 minutes, we can see the exit to our garden, and we can see that our lights are on. This spooks us the fuck out, since the lights outside are motion sensitive, and since our grandmother doesn't ever go outside by herself, it means that something the size of a human must have triggered them. And very recently, they've got a cooldown time of around 30 seconds, if I can remember. About a minute later, we hear this fucking screeching sound from about 100 meters behind us, and everyone jumps out of their skins, pun intended. We turn around to see this lanky, crooked, dark humanoid figure, about two meters tall from my memory. We all completely go mad and sprint like motherfuckers to the gate. All the more, I can hear this thing running towards us as well. We run through the gate as quickly as possible when the garden lights decide to switch off. We're in pitch black and can't see shit. My dad, who has been holding my hand since we started running, suddenly yanks me nearly off my feet as he suddenly changes direction. He reaches the house and the lights turn on and we turn around to see darkness. My uncle, who is halfway down the drive when the lights turn on, turns around to see us. He runs up to us and says that he could see it behind some trees, just about to go through the gate. But the lights dazed him momentarily, and so he lost sight of it. After about 30 seconds, the stench begins to dissipate and wane. We head back inside and talk to my grandmother. We ask if she's alright. She says she's fine, but she could hear knocking at the doors. After a few seconds of silence, I ask what the hell that thing that we saw actually was. My uncle tries to explain that big cat hypothesis and that it was just a panther that stood on its hind legs. I immediately call bullshit, but I don't say anything. We spend more, we spend one more week there than me and my dad head off. The house that my dad and uncle worked on was only just completed two years ago, and this happened about 10 years ago. Ever since that night happened, my uncle just loaded up on weapons, and, well, he went pretty crazy. He was also diagnosed with depression and OCD soon after as well. I guess that sight combined with the death of his brother really fucked him up mentally. But as soon as he finished the house, he sold it and moved into the local town. Also, as far as how it looked, the most detailed description that I can give of it personally is that it was akin to that famous Wendigo illustration, Pick Related. However, it had a humanoid head, as far as I could tell, instead of a deer head. <laughs>